Welcome to a video from thisislife.com. In this video, I'm going to look at the new build of Windows 11 25300 for Windows Insiders on the Dev Channel. Just to be a quick video because there's not um, that many changes included in this build. But good thing is, uh, if you do want an ISO, you can do a clean install and you can get that from Microsoft. Um, you can use the ISO to build virtual machines like this, which is what I've got here. So this is running on the, the dev channel with the new build. Okay, so a quick run through of the changes on this build. If you remember, um, the 2022 update of Windows 11 introduced live captions. That's where it will... Uh, uh, captions on um, audio coming in so that could be a YouTube video or whatever you want and it will it will display that text so uh, that's been rolled out for more languages right so let's have a look at the changes now Microsoft say that they're trying out some different treatments with snap layouts uh, which is to make it easier to understand so they're um, they're experimenting with the window of it so let's have a look to see if i've got those changes they did say they're working with a small set of users so we may not see that uh, on there okay so i'm seeing the old version on here now but what microsoft doing where you see these windows where that you can choose where the layout should be you'll get an icon um of the application so you'd have file explorer icon in that preview there showing you what will happen uh, so they're just trying some things out on here. Um, when you either hover over like the the, uh, the maximize button, or when you drag those out, so you can see I've not got those settings. In settings, there are a couple of changes. So when you go to start up now, you get easier access to the application, so you can see what's allowed during startup and what isn't. And here's where you can disable those. So they've improved that slightly. I'm um, right clicking on. Uh, Win32 app in the start will um, will take you to the uninstall. So I don't know if I've got one on here. Like that. The rest of the changes are just fixes. They fixed some API issues which affected Notepad and Terminal, uh, depending on which language you're in. They fixed some issues with the recovery environment. That's the environment when you reboot and it goes back into a recovery mode. And they're fixing issues with the taskbar cutting off. They fixed some issues with widgets getting unpinned. And I did get, see that myself. So uh, in widgets, you can go and add them in, like the new Spotify one, and say to do and so on. And you can add them in. And then what I was finding is uh, when you go back out again, they will be no longer pinned. Whereas um, this build, they are staying pinned. I find that some of them don't work. I think there's a different issue. Uh, but. Uh, they're uh, they're going to fix that and hopefully the other thing they fixed is when you do the find more widgets it actually works now before it just takes you to a, an error page in the uh, microsoft store so they fixed some issues with uh, drag and drop as well there you go that's now working and they fixed some task ma manager issues um Right, known issues. Uh, there's one new known issue, the investigatory report of uh, the new button in Snipping Tool isn't working after you from the last build. Uh, if you go to setting apps, default apps, and uh, you can resolve that issue. Let's give it a try. Yeah, you can see that the um, that's not doing anything, so let's see if we can fix that. Go there, there go. That's fixed that just by setting that as the default. Okay, and um, there's still some issues with, um, and there's still some known issues with Windows Hello on um, PCs, but that's the new issues that to mention in this build so that's it for the changes to the new known issues this is 25300 for windows inside the dev channel thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one